remember that it is already a battleground remember that krishn himself has tried the utmost to avert war he himself had gone as a messenger to the court of duryodhan and tried his best now all that is behind before war the right action is please try to prevent war war means a lot of suffering on the battlefield now you cannot act like a peacenik now you have to be an eagle not a dove now you must fight when i get up to speak to my family members what i say is not the same as what i planned for i talk in fear i appease them i hide my true feelings and intentions i know it is because i am attached to them and also afraid i want to avoid bad relations and situations but it all happens so spontaneously is it okay to hide true feelings how do i avoid chickening out at the right moment no no what you have mentioned here is just the surface of the situation it's not really because of attachment that you cannot fearlessly relate to the other hmm? fear is coming principally because of the threat of loss you do not want to hurt or offend because you know that you have given the other the capacity to hurt or offend you back that's what makes you afraid if you get the fundamental principle right kanika ultimately we are afraid about only one thing any person any situation if you find him in fear there is just one fear really which is the fear of self preservation somewhere your self interests are linked to the normalcy of relations between you and your family members you know that back of the mind you realize that if you strain the relations between you and your family members they will bite you back in whatever way it might not be a very visible or vulgar way it might be a hidden subtle subconscious way as happens in families you know these are supposed to be sacred relations nobody is going to visibly obviously hurt his daughter or wife or sister but given that we operate from the center of the ego and the ego is always violent and its principal interest is self preservation we will hurt the other definitely not obviously not visibly but in hidden ways you know that and you are afraid you are afraid of suffering at the hands of those you profess to love here you are saying oh it is because of my attachment to my family members that i cannot speak reality to them you say i cannot talk of my true feelings intentions etc to them no i am so sure because it's it's a principle hmm? it's a principle that cannot be violated if in relating to the other you feel afraid it is because the other has the capacity to hurt your interests that's all now that's the 
bad situation to be in. Why are you so dependent in whichever way? I do not know. I do not know the shape, size, form of your dependency. But surely dependent you are. It might be that you are dependent just in a psychological way. Or you might be dependent even in a financial way. You might be dependent in a social way. But there is some definite dependency. And that dependency is causing your fear. Do not try to think that your fear is arising from love. Even when you say that you are attached to your parents, that's why you can't speak straight to them, you are making it sound almost as if love makes you conceal the truth. No, that's not the case. Neither love nor a common variety of love called attachment is making you conceal the truth. It's the simple threat that something will be badly hit at if you speak the truth. Hmm? If that is the case, as I suppose it must be, then you must honestly think about the nature of your relationship with your family members. Whatever name you want to give to the relationship, the soul of the relationship is revealed in situations like these. Where is love? Where is truth? But it's not very surprising. This is the way most parent-child relationships are. This is the way most families are constructed. Not on the foundation of love and truth, but merely as institutions that exist for society's sake. How often do a man and a woman come together for the sake of truth? How many people really know what it means to love? And if you do not know what love is, how will you just miraculously and selectively love your wife and your kids? Hmm? It's like saying, I'm blind, but I'm able to look at my wife and my kids. If you are able to look at your wife and your kids, you'll be able to look at everything and everybody. Love is like eyesight. Either everything is in its purview or nothing is. You cannot be selectively blind. Are you getting it? So, no surprise that such a thing is happening to you. In fact, very few people are able to even realize what you are realizing. That fear etc. exists very commonly, the one that you are talking of. But very few people look at it as something undesirable. Normally, people think of it as some accompaniment of love. People will say, but this is part and parcel of the whole bundle called the family. You are finding it odd, that's auspicious. Now that you are finding it odd, let the thorn prick you fully. Go deep and figure out what the real nature of association 
between human beings is why do we as we are relate to each other at all i'm cautioning you in advance you will not find beautiful or aromatic things in your inquiry you will come across a lot of ugliness a lot of stink but that's our lot if we want to really get rid of the muck we'll have to first dive into the stink figure out your dependencies inquire into the relationships that's advice